Hey there guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. So I know it's been a little while, it's been just over a month since the last one, which is a shame. Uh, obviously, as you probably know, if you don't, you know, then you're probably living under a rock, but the whole coronavirus situation is obviously a very serious thing. And so everyone's staying at home, and that includes my family, and so I just don't have the freedom to record like I used to. Just for the minute, obviously while this is going on, but after that, we'll see what happens. Today we're doing a tutorial on the TIE Interceptor. Uh, so yeah, this is the newest version. I've not done one of these in a while. I think the last time we did one was actually at the very start of the Star Wars wave. But that's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. And it's uh, definitely a massive improvement over what we had before. So yeah, this is just a quick turnaround of it. And then we will uh, get onto the actual build itself. It shouldn't take too long. I'm thinking about half an hour if that. So yeah. Anyway guys, with that let's move on to the actual build itself. So yeah, on to section 1. Okay, so starting off layer one, we're gonna take a temporary block here. We also need stone brick stairs and nether brick stairs and stone slabs. We're gonna get our yellow wool, which is gonna be our temporary block. And we're gonna put one in the air or on the ground, whichever, it doesn't really matter. Um, and do one, two, three on that side and one, two, three on that side. And then just do a top half stone slab there, top half stone slab there. And then one in front of it, one behind it, one in front, one behind. Okay. Then do a stone brick stair facing outwards on those four like that, and then another brick stair facing outwards on the other two. Okay, now whichever side is going to be the back of the ship, I'm going to do this side because that's where all the other ships are facing. I'm going to do two nether brick stairs there, two there, and one stone brick stair there, one stone brick stair there, and then one here, and one here, and then two in front, two in front and then two stone slabs top half again. Okay, so you should get that. Now the way that this ship works is um, it's kind of like half a block off the ground. So if you want to have it landed, then you'll need to um, either create some landing gear for it or have like a kind of scaffolding structure around it. Uh, it's just the way that it ended up being with the, uh, with the shaping of the wings that it doesn't sit firmly on the ground, so. Yeah, that's just one thing to uh, to note. But yeah, that's going to be it for the first layer, so let's move on to the second section. Okay, Okay. so for the second section, grab your stone brick stairs again. We're going to put one there like that. And then two nether brick stairs, one stone brick there. And then three nether brick, one stone brick. And then on the back side here, we're going to do one, two, and three with nether brick, one stone brick there. And then just a corner stone brick one like that. Then nether brick one, two, three, and four, and then two stone bricks this time, and two stone slabs. They make it on this side, so one there, one, two, one there, one, two, three, one there, then one, two, three, four, one there, uh, one, two, three, and then a corner one there like that, and then just on the front, one, two, and then two there like that. There we go, so that's going to be it for the second section. Pretty uh, simple and easy. So let's move on to section number three. Technically this is going to be layer four, but we did the first layer. Uh, well, the first section is layer one and two. And then, uh, yeah, I guess let's call this layer four, even though it's the third um, section that we're doing technically. So yeah, layer four. All right, so for layer number four, you will also need iron trap door, but that's going to be uh, a bit later on. So we're going to start by putting a stone brick stair just there facing outwards and then one two three four five six seven nether brick and then one stone brick there like that three there and then one stone brick stair just there like that one on the outside three nether brick one stone and this time one two three four five six seven and eight with the nether brick two stone brick stairs and two stone slabs same thing again on this side one one two three one one two three Four, five, six, seven. Stay there. One there. One there. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two. And then two there. And then go to this line here. Grab the yellow wool and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And on the very middle block, put a stone slab 
and then surround it with iron trap doors. Just like that. And yeah, once you've done that, that's going to be it for that layer. So let's move on to layer number five. So yeah, that's going to be the main body. All right, so for layer five, we're going to need stone and cobblestone walls. So before we start layer five, I just want to say <laughs> I was just browsing YouTube because uh, obviously, as I said recently, it's really hard to record. Um, I've not had much time to do it. Um, but I've just been on YouTube today. Um, and basically, this layer is taking place the day after the layer we literally just did. So yeah, that's why it's uh, probably audio is a bit different. But I've just noticed that uh, Garrett 2 by 4 has uploaded a tie intercept tutorial, which is really, really weird um, and kind of awkward now because I'm going to be uploading mine and it's going to look like uh, I've, I've copied it, essentially. But no, I haven't. I just want to say now that when I started recording this, this was before his went up. So I think it's just a very ironic coincidence. I don't know. It's strange. But yeah. So yeah, just uh, I didn't I didn't uh, copy the idea. I, I started before I even knew he was doing one. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to take our stone block and do a cross shape like that. Uh, and then cobblestone wall on all four sides like this. And then uh, stone slabs all surround it like that. Okay. And then we're going to take our stone brick stairs. And we're going to go all the way across here. We're going to start by doing one, two, three, and four. And then five there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Just like that. And then 17 on the back, upside down stairs. These are all stone brick this time, just like that. And then two more on the front and two stone slabs. And then just one corner one on the back like that. Okay, same thing again here. So yeah. Um, I wanna know what your guys' opinions are on some Star Wars Battlefront 2 videos. Uh, I know I often tease other series that never actually come to fruition, but Star Wars Battlefront 2 is one of my favorite games apart from Minecraft, so I thought perhaps some funny clips, maybe a montage of stuff would be uh, something you might be interested in. So let me know about that. Uh, anyway, once you've done that, that's going to be it for layer 5, so let's move on to layer number 6. Okay, so for layer 6, there's quite a lot going on in this one. It's the base of the body and then the wing join things on here so it's uh it's gonna be a bit difficult there's a lot of materials to use so i'm just gonna get rid of the most obvious ones first so for the pilot seat we're gonna start right in the middle here and do a rail and then a minecart so you can actually sit in there so that's good that's uh what you like to see and then do a dark oak fence gate there and you can turn it facing towards the seat if you wish how the hell do you do that there you go just like that then you're going to grab uh, black stained glass and just put that on the front there and then throw that away now and then you need dark uh oh not dark sorry it's just a uh, gray concrete there we go that goes behind the pilot and then a stone block is going to go there there and there and then two polished andesite here and two here like so and then we're going to grab stone brick stairs and face four outwards like that on either side. Okay, then do two there facing that way and two there facing that way. Then you're gonna put a cobblestone wall here. Uh, no, not there, sorry. Um, I don't know why I said that. Upside down stair there, upside down stair there, upside down stair there and there, just like that. So you should get a sort of circular shape now. Okay. Cobblestone wall is going to go on the back. That's where it was meant to go. And then two uh, with the skeleton skulls are going to go here on the front. Just there. Okay. And then finally, just grab a uh, black glass pane. That's going to go there like that. And yeah, that's fine for the main body. Next up, grab wooden trap doors. You're going to put uh, one... Well, actually, you need a stone slab first. Wooden trap door there, wooden trap door there. Then an iron trap door, stone slab, polished underside, and a stone block there like that. Do two cobblestone walls here, one there, and then you're going to need, uh, what is it? Something powder. Oh, concrete, that's it. Three black concrete powder and one more polished underside. Same again on this side. One, three there. Uh... 
cobblestone wall, stone, two cobblestone wall there, polished andesite, top half stone slab, iron trap door, stone slab again, and then the two wooden trap doors there and there. That should be everything on both sides. Last thing, just grab a lever and you're gonna put one uh, there and there and there and there. Okay. So yeah, anyway, once you've done that, that's gonna do it for that layer, I think. So let's move on to layer number. I think we're on seven or six now, I can't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Layer seven, so yeah. So for layer seven, we're gonna start off by just grabbing ourselves a gray stained glass and putting that just there on top of that black one. And then you're gonna take your black stained glass again, do two there, and then we're actually gonna jump up a layer here and do one on top. You're then gonna take stone brick stairs, do one on the side there and one on the side there. And then you're gonna quickly grab your black stained glass pane, do it on the front of the black ones. But then on the front of the gray one, you're actually gonna take a light gray Glass pane, put that there. So you get this uh, neat little effect. It's kind of darker on the inside. Uh, oh dear, I pushed the mine count. There we go. That's a good reason to keep the fence gate shut, but you know, you could put an end rod there if you want instead. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's the front of the, um, the cockpit done anyway. I just wanted to get that out of the way before we carried on. You are gonna take a cobblestone wall, put that there and there. Two polish on the side, two there, two here, and two here. Then with your stone blocks, you're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to take a chilled stone brick. That's going to go there. And there. Throw that away. You should have this by now. Then you're going to grab your levers again, which are there, and one's going to go just there like that, and just there like that. Flip it, and then put that wooden trapdoor back. That's the only reason the trapdoor's wooden, is because the uh, levers flip them, and you can't manually unflip them without editing software, so it's uh, just a good idea to make those ones wooden, sadly. But yeah, anyway, from there, grab yourself some anvils. And you're going to do uh, one there and one here. Same thing again there and there. Throw those away. And you're going to do two cobblestone walls next to those anvils. Just like that. And then polished andesite on either side there and stone on either side there. Just like that. Then on the front half, you're just going to do another polished andesite. And then a cobblestone wall there. Uh, oh, no. Wait. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. I was right. <laughs> cobblestone wall on either side, yeah. And then three black wool. That's going to be our next block. Uh, where's wool? There we go. One, two, three. And then another polished andesite. Okay. Finally, for the... Uh, back here, take a stone brick stairs, upside down there and there. Then a lever there, lever there. And then you're going to take grey stained concrete. One here and here. Polish down the site in the middle. And a wooden trap door just there for the seat. That's his nice little backrest. <laughs> and then uh, you're going to take cyan stained clay. There's a lot of materials in this one, I will be honest with you. It's uh, a bit of a bit of a madhouse. And then an anvil in the middle and a cobblestone wall on either side there like that. Okay. Also a cobblestone wall here and here. And then that should be everything. So yeah. That's going to do it for layer number... I forgot again. I think it was seven. So let's move on to layer number eight. So yeah. So for layer number eight, we're going to grab our stone again, put one there, two cobblestone walls and one there, and then three black concrete powder, one polished andesite. That was a voice crack there. I, I think you probably heard that. That's very embarrassing. 
And yeah, we just essentially from this point forward, we're just like mirroring everything that we just did. It's uh, symmetrical from top to bottom, apart from these two stairs here. So it's literally like going to be exactly the same. You know, obviously only the interior is going to be different. The actual build itself from this point forward is going to be literally symmetrical top to bottom. So yeah. Um, so I may skip some sections to save time or speed them up, sorry. Um, but I'll make sure to keep you in the loop as to what I'm doing. Um, so yeah. So I'm just putting polish on this out here. And then stairs facing each other again. You should get these right angles like that. Upside down stair there and there. Then we go on the other side. Uh, Grey concrete is going to go in the middle. Like that. This is going to be an upside down stair here. So you should end up with, uh, with this like that. That's your interior. On the back here it's going to be a stone on top of there. And then stairs facing each other like that. Okay. Uh, from there, let's just do the other side now real quick. So two polished andesite. Uh, stair there, a right angle with the other one. Um, levers facing that way and that way. Wooden trap door. Uh, hang on. Wooden trap door there, wooden trap door there. And then we go to the iron trap doors. Then slab. That there. This here, one, two, one, and one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, once you've done that, anyway, that's going to be it for that layer. Let's just quickly go back to the layer previous, which is this one. And we're just going to put some ladders on there. We're going to put those, uh, let's see where they are. There and there. And there and there. And also, let's go to these wingtips here. And just going to put a uh, N rod there and there. Now let's delete these temporary locks. Just like that. And now essentially what we're going to do is flip these wings up onto the top here and also the uh, rest of the body. I'm going to essentially do a little bit of it uh, on camera. A little bit of it will be sped up. So we'll just save a bit of time there to uh, fit within the allocated time window that we set earlier of half an hour. Hopefully we'll make it. If not, no worries, but yeah, we'll see. So yeah, let's mirror these wings. All right, so let's get these uh, top wings finished and also the body. The body's really uh, easy to finish off. We're just going to start by doing a single slab there, there, uh, where else? There and there. And then it's going to be one, two, three, and four stone in the middle with a polished andesite and cobblestone walls surrounding it. And then it was... Uh, iron trap doors there with a stone slab on top so yeah that's that now let's do the wings so i'm going to do one of them and then speed up the other one uh, just to save a little bit of time here but you've seen them all done before but upside down now you're going to see it and then mirror it over yourself so yeah don't get much simpler than that uh so yeah like i said it's a bit of a shame that garrett 2x4's uh time set came out you know like the exact same time as mine but, you know, uh, we we chat a lot about what we're building, but we didn't actually tell each other that we're building Titan Scepters. Um, so, yeah, I think it's just a happy coincidence after the Rise of Skywalker came out. Um, I would have built a Tide Dagger, but it scored a bit lower in the poll. Speaking of the poll, um, I know the Lambda Class Shuttle did win, but I had to weigh up what time I had, and the Lambda Class Shuttle would have took a lot longer. Um, and so I just didn't have the time to actually build that one as a tutorial at the minute. But it is on the list for something that's coming uh, like straight after. Like I said, I just um, I had to weigh up. Because when I put the poll out, I didn't know exactly when I'd be able to record. I assumed I would have more time, but it turns out I have very limited time when it comes to recording at the minute. So uh, it's, yeah, sadly it had to be the tie interceptor. So yeah, I apologize for that because the uh, Lambda did win by a pretty large percentage. But... You know, what can you do? At least something's out there, I guess. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. You know, I'm, I'm not even uh, commentating here on what I'm doing. I'm, I'm literally just mirroring from down here at the minute. That's what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah. 
That's, uh, yeah, I, I sh should have probably told you that. <laughs> anyway, where are we? So, yeah. Uh, what else? What else is going on? Um, not much. Not much is going on. I really haven't been building much recently at all either because uh, this new job really is you know, taking a lot of my time. And as much as I want to do YouTube, it's not giving me a, a proper income or anything. So most of my time does go to you know my actual job. Um, obviously, I really appreciate all the Patreon fans and all the people who watch my videos and and you know give me ad clicks and that because it does help out. It's just obviously not at this point with you know 8,000 subscribers. It's not a sustainable income. Otherwise, I would be doing YouTube full time. Um, probably not this specific topic for much longer. I will be honest with you because. I don't think this is something that I can keep going for forever, and especially recently, it's not appealed to me as much. Um, but like I said, something like Star Wars Battlefront or even non-gaming stuff would be uh, be an interesting thing to cover at some point. So yeah. Anyway, we're almost done with this wing, so so yeah, that's uh, that's good. I hope I'm doing this right because I really have not been focusing here. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's right. Looks, looks about right to me. Yeah, I guess that's right. <laughs> um, so yeah. Anyway, let's mirror this over now. Also, oh yeah, I did the end rod. That's okay. So let's mirror this over. I'm gonna speed up the footage so that we uh, we don't spend too much time on it. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, with that, I guess that's uh, that's going to be everything. So that's the Titan set to finish. I guess one thing you could add, which wasn't on the original model, uh, but I could add now, um, is just a line of light grey carpets along here, just to give it a bit more definition as sort of the rim of the wing. Uh, either that or iron trap doors, because I guess if you use iron trap doors, you could um, have it on the top as well. But it just makes the gap between the wings a little bit... Uh, Thinner, which is not totally accurate so that's why I'm trying to keep it to the minimum here with the carpets but yeah this is the tie interceptor I hope you uh, enjoyed and again I'm sorry it's so close to Garrett 2 Lice Forged version that's just a very coincidental thing um, otherwise I would have done the lambda class shortly if I had more time also I, I want to polish off the lambda because I only want to make one version of that like ever and it's been in the works since the start of the series but I've never been happy with any of the versions that I've produced and I've must have done it about five or six of them so far and all of them are now in the uh, archives apart from the current one which again I'm, I'm totally not I'm all right with but I'm not totally happy with it I want to it's mainly the cockpit that's the issue it's uh it kind of slopes in like four or five different angles and it's really hard to pull off but yeah Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll be back again soon. But we will see. Uh, we'll see where the road takes us with this whole uh, COVID-19 situation. But yeah, thank you, guys. Bye. All right, I'd just like to give a big thanks to my current Patreon supporters of the channel. The names are being displayed right now on the screen, so massive credits to them for making this video possible. Make sure to check out my Patreon page in the description if you're interested in supporting the channel, and you also receive a neat goodie bag every month along with other rewards for the higher tiers. So yeah, thank you.